I've been getting a ton of questions about the solar electric drive system of a boat. It's not finished yet, but I thought I'd make a short clip about the most frequently asked questions and where I'm at right now. Question number one. Why go electric? Diesel is so much better in any way. A lot to unwrap here. The argument usually goes along the lines of diesel has a higher energy density and thus it has a higher range. It's cheaper and it's quicker to fill up. So first of all, I would not have started a diesel powered boat project since the environmental impact of private yachts is absolutely ridiculous. I always try to keep my CO2 footprint relatively low. So the alternative to a solar yacht would have been none. Regarding the range. So the original Yanma 6 LPA engines that were on the boat would use about 20 liters of diesel fuel per hour at five knots, which is very, very efficient. The 900 liters of fuel the boat could carry would result in a theoretical range of about 450 kilometers or two liters of diesel per kilometer. At the same speed, the electric drive system consumes about 15 kilowatt. So to achieve the same range, I would need 675 kilowatt hours of battery, which is the equivalent of seven of Tesla's largest battery packs, not even counting that the drive system would weigh in at about three tons above the diesel one, resulting in an even higher consumption. Uh, pure battery electric range will thus stay way below that of the diesel drive system. And that's where solar comes in. The solar array I'm currently planning has about 20 kilowatt peak of capacity, meaning that at perfect conditions, the consumption should be pretty close to production, increasing the range and closing the gap at least a bit. Cheaper. So lots of different definitions of cheap here. I could make my life very easy saying that solar energy is free, therefore it's cheaper to cruise with my boat than with any fuel powered one. That would discount two factors unfairly though. The cost of a drive system and the electricity cost if I'm charging at a marina. For a comparable range, I would have to drop about 100,000 euros into the drive system, mostly in batteries, at one euro 50 per liter diesel, even without any cost for electricity, that means I would need to travel 33,000 kilometers, close to the 40,000 kilometers for a full circumnavigation in order to come out even. That's steep, but not impossible. Charging at a marina, I'm at about 30 cents per kilowatt hour here in Germany, and I consume about 1.5 kilowatt hours per kilometer, which comes down to about 50 cents per kilometer. Still expensive, but only one fourth of a diesel cost. Regarding the argument of it being quicker to fill up, it is. At a typical wall outlet, a 675 kilowatt hour battery would take 188 hours or more than one week to fill up, while diesel would only take a few minutes. If a solar array performs well and I'm in a very sunny region, I could argue that I don't even have to go anywhere to fill up and therefore it saves time, but in any other case, diesel clearly wins out here. You may be wondering why I have not talked about the solar array yet. So for my priority list right now, everything is very important that's related to the outside shell of a boat. So that's sanding, painting, structural repairs and to the actual drive system. So that's motor and battery pack and some electronics. Anything else is not required to move it to a different cheaper marina or to keep it in the water for uh, further works. So the solar array is something that comes pretty late when mostly everything else is finished. I've got to say I'm absolutely astounded by how many people have gotten in contact with me, how many comments I've received, and I'm very happy so many people are interested in this project. If you haven't already, please subscribe. I will keep posting, I will keep updating you on everything that's new with the project, any progress I'm making. So thanks a lot for watching and see you next time.